Yeah, man, I just wanted to... This video is kind of going to be like a video where you just kind of hanging out with me, right? Just getting the inside, my inside thoughts, right? My deep thoughts, what I think about on a daily basis, man. And um, when I just look at the world and I just look at the patterns of the world, right? And the way of the world. And when I look at the world, I just see a whole bunch of people who are just so much more capable than what where they think they are or more capable than what they are currently, man. And... It's just crazy when you look at the world, everybody pretty much, you know, follows the same system, you know, just work every single day, you know, just every day, every week is the same stuff. Wake up early in the morning, you know, go to work, come home, do the same thing, go to sleep, wake up early in the morning, go to work, come home, and, and I just feel like there's got to be like a bigger purpose, right? There's got to be like a bigger drive. You know, of course, there are some people who are living in their purpose and, and living a life of their dreams and they're going after whatever they truly want. But, uh, you know, how much of society is actually doing that? And I just feel like I got to be a medium to help people to step into their power. Uh, maybe that's you, right? To help you step into your power, to understand that you are capable and you are valuable and you can do extraordinary things. But if you're doing what everybody else is doing, then you're pretty much gonna get the same results, right? And that's what I realized that most people who don't have dreams and visions, they do think you're crazy when you're trying to accomplish something that's very hard to accomplish because they've never allowed their comfort, they've never allowed themselves to become uncomfortable to know what it's like to enter into the unknown, right? Into the phase of not knowing what to expect next. But isn't that what makes life beautiful? Uncertainty is what makes life beautiful, right? And the, People get depressed and they get bored with life because there's no uncertainty. They know what they're gonna get paid every day, right? They know exactly what to do at their job. And one of the reasons why I love entrepreneurship so much is that there's so much uncertainty with it um, that it really tests your character as a person. It really tests your drive and your ambition. And it allows you to grow stronger, you know what I'm saying? It allows you to really tap into something that's deeper than just Oh yeah, I work for this company and this is what I get paid. You know, it's, it's more than just a title because, right, you run into all types of different people when you're doing entrepreneurship. You work with all kinds of different people. And just that uncertainty, you don't know who's gonna buy from you that day. You don't know who's gonna be in business with you that day. You don't know whose life you're gonna impact that day. And just that uncertainty is just so appealing to me, right? And, and I find most people, they don't find that appealing, but that's exactly what life is about. You know, the fact that you could create your destiny, the fact that where you are right now, whatever you're going through does not define your future. You know what I'm saying? I just see a whole bunch of people like zombies, man, just, you know, they're going through a lot and a lot of times they just don't know any better. They just don't have an opportunity to be able to break free. Either that or their problem is they don't take advantage of opportunity and wonder why they're in a situation they're still, still in, right? One of the, the acronyms of poor is passing over opportunities repeatedly right and you have some people who are optimistic they see opportunity they take advantage and they run with it and their life changes but most people don't operate that way um, and you think about the system when you're small from a very young baby the minute you come out the womb everything is structured in a way where you got to listen to some authority figure right when you're young in school that that may be your the person at your daycare right or, or when you get to school that may be your teacher then you get to college, that's your professor, right? Then you get to the workforce and that's your boss, right? Your boss has the authority over you and it's all a whole systematic process of getting you to this point where you're just constantly listening to people and everything is structured and it's just like, you know, and it doesn't mean I could be totally wrong, right? <laughs> um, I could be totally wrong, right? But I mean, it's just obvious when you just look around you and you observe, simple observation will show you that most people are living an average life. Most people are getting average results. And the only way you can not live like that and the only way you can get extraordinary results is from doing something different. From doing what the, the uh, from doing what people who are very successful and very, uh, who are living a purposeful life, you gotta adopt their thought process. You gotta adopt their way of thinking to actually experience that life. It's there for the taking, right? You can do whatever you want. You can accomplish whatever you want in your life. But it's up to you, right? It's up to you to make that decision and to realize that, hey, I want to be standing apart. I want to be different from everybody else, right? I want to go out there and I want to impact some lives and um, impact some people. And I just look around at people getting paid these 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 hourly wages and I'm just like, you know, they've got to be much more powerful than that. They've got to be much more capable than that. 
you know, God has given all of us the power of uh, imagination, the ability to imagine things. And I wonder why we, we're like the only uh, mammals on this earth who can imagine, right? And, and the reason why I think is because God wants us to see the abundance he has for us, right? Even if it's not there yet. When you think about faith, it's all about having belief in something that you don't even see, right? God, for example, if for those of you who believe in God, you know, that's what faith is. You don't even you don't even see him, but you know he's there, right? And, and people don't have that same faith when it comes to business. They don't have that same faith when it comes to, to life and just, you know, everyday life, man. And it's just a sad situation. But, you know, I'm here to help you break the chains of that bondage and just think in a more empowered light. Think to a whole nother, think like a supreme being, guys. So I just kind of, hold on, let me just see the time really fast, okay? This this camera might die or either the, the time might run out, whatever. I don't care. You're hanging out with me just, you know, getting insight into my thoughts and my thought process. But, you know, it, it's just time to change the generation for my family. You know, that's why, I, you know, I'm so focused. I'm actually going to cause a generational change in my family where they won't consistently have to work, right? Because if we consist continually to do the same thing for generations and generations, we're gonna be in that same monotony, that same cycle of working a job for somebody else, not ever being able to create income for ourselves, not ever being able to understand what it feels like to be financially free, not ever understanding what it feels like to be able to travel more than you go to work, right? And literally your work can become a fun thing and that's what people don't realize. You can have fun. You can have fun living in your purpose. You can have fun making your passion into your paycheck guys so that's all i gotta say for today i'll see you guys in the next video jonathan belcher click the link below if you want to learn more about making money